an understanding of the weapons of your enemy will help you to know how best to deal with them your level of understanding of your position is a necessary requirement for victory in battle what are the weapons at his disposal when you understand that you are able to organize how to counter them i'm going to show you just one of them tonight as we begin to round up very importantly because if you don't know the worth of the opposition you have a problem designing a strategy to overcome him and i show you this bit of it tonight peter had a destiny of leadership for the church of christ when jesus said to him thou art peter and upon this rock i will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against that was a destiny of triumph am i correct that was a destiny of triumph a destiny of victory he said and the gates of hell shall not prevail against and satan said let's see how it goes and then jesus said to peter simon simon Satan desires to have you. Come on, listen. He wants to blow you off your destiny with his evil wind. But I've prayed for you that thy faith faileth not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. Now listen. Luke 22, verse 31 and 32 among the hidden weapons of the wicked is the blowing of an evil wind the blowing of what an evil wind <laughs> listen very carefully listen very carefully the bible calls satan the prince of the power of the air ephesians chapter 2 and verse 2 in the parable of Matthew 7 24 to 27 the parable of the house that is built on the rock and the one that is built on sand in verse 25 Jesus said whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them I would like him unto a wise man that is built his house upon the rock then came the rain and the flood and the wind and it beat upon that house and it fell not because it was built upon the rock verse 27 said but if anyone hears my sayings and do them not i like him unto um, a foolish man that is built his house upon the sun then came the flood then came the rain and the wind and blew against that house and it fell and great was the fall of it satan satan's weapon among others includes the blowing of an evil wind when i was growing up every time you see a wild wind they talk of anjanu an evil angel when you talk about a wild wind and when a wild wind carries you uh, by the time you are landed you are deformed if you survive so satan uses his power over the wind in fighting us is somebody hearing what i'm talking about so if satan is armed with the weapon of an evil wind then what you need is a spiritual weight to match what do you need spiritual weight what you need is a spiritual weight i beg you listen tonight listen because this is forming the foundation of our gathering without an adequate spiritual weight your destiny is at a risk 
what you need to combat the wild wind of wickedness is spiritual what weight one of my very close persons some years ago was caught up by a wild wind in a burden and thrown up came down and was struck with stroke lost his memory on the spot and was reduced as it were to a vegetable before Jesus came and rescued him. Even ABC, his wife had to be teaching him ABC, a mechanical engineer. His children had to be teaching. Before Jesus under this commission rescued him. So I know what I mean by an evil wind. There are men, evil wind, carry them off their family. That is very decent Christian, but feather weight. Feather weight. On the spot, the wife is no good. He needs to marry more. They're the same Christian, the same bonny Christian, but has no weight. Without an appropriate weight, you stand to be deformed in the battle. He says, Simon, Simon, Satan is coming against you with an evil wind. He wants to blow you off your destiny. But I have prayed for you that I faith fail it not, that you don't faint. As the wind blows, that you don't crumble. So you need an approach. You see, people don't fail exam because they know nothing. They fail because they don't know enough. How many understand what I'm talking about? You are not called a failure because you know nothing. You knew something, but it's not enough. You still got 30%. 30 out of 100, you got something, but you didn't get enough. Some got 39. You see, they didn't get enough. You got 48. You didn't get enough. They didn't 50. So it's not enough to be carrying. Let him that think that he knows anything. Knows that he knows nothing yet as he ought to know. What you know is what the time is where you are now. Until you know better, you won't leave that place. I mean, understand what I'm talking about. This is very important. There is no prayer that this piece of paper can pray before this fan not to be blown away. There's a fan here now. And this paper is a prayer warrior. He's praying, but has no weight. He's praying, it has no weight. The, it is at the mercy of this thing. As it comes, it goes. It can't take it anywhere. Because it has no weight. It can't blow this one. This will go down on the same floor under its weight. You will still find this position because it's not the same weight. Prayer is not a substitute to spiritual weight. If you don't want to be blown off, go and develop your weight. Build up your spiritual weight. This is a battle of weights. If you don't have the weight, you'll be whipped. You need the weight. You need a weight. It is not the doctrine. The sons of Sceva had the doctrine, but they don't have the authority. In the name of Jesus, whom Paul preaches, come and they say, You, Jesus, I know, Paul, I know. Those are the heavyweight champions. Jesus, I know, Paul, I know. When we see them, we just check out. You need spiritual weight. There are too many charismatic colors without weight. There is no weight. There is no weight. There is no weight. The number one requirement for weight building is quality nutrition. What do I call it? Quality nutrition. Quality feeding. Quality feeding. No junk. Wrestlers eat choice food to make their body elastic for the race. Quality feeding quality nutrition you need to embrace quality feeding to build your weight god's word is the living bread from heaven that a man may eat thereof and not die god's word conveys god's nature into a mortal system so we now our human nature is exchanged for his divine nature conferring on us divine authority 
in the face of battles. For whereby are given unto us these exceeding great and precious promises, that by this we might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Second Peter 1 4. It's so important for us to know that your weight is not determined by your noise. Your weight has to do with your intake. Much more than it has to do with what you speak out. This is very important. That's why I said study. So you won't end up being stupid. Study to show yourself approved unto God as a man that will not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Second Timothy 2:15. That is the feeding system in building your spiritual weight. You bend down to study. You are not just reading. You are studying. Now, most of us have gone to school. There's a word of difference between reading and studying. Most of you read newspapers five in a day, and you can't tell the headline of any of them because you are only reading. But when you are a student, and you engage in the art of studying, you are taking specific notes as you go through your materials. You can't be studying without a note. You are taking note of your discoveries. And what does that mean? When you find it, then there shall be a reward, and thy expectation shall not be cut off. Proverbs 24 verse 23, I mean verse 13 and 14. He said, my son, eat thou honey, for it is good. And the honeycomb which is with thy taste, so shall the knowledge of wisdom be to thy soul. And when thou hast found it, then there shall be reward. And thy expectation shall not be cut off. It is your findings that determine the happenings in your life. It is the findings you make that determine the happenings in your life. It is the findings you make that determine the happenings in your life. If you don't want to remain a, a victim of circumstances, then become a committed finder, a committed searcher. Somebody asked me years ago, he said, do you cram scriptures? I said, no, I eat them. I don't cram them, I eat them. I can't imagine me memorizing any verse, but I set to on every verse of scripture on which the Holy Ghost is breathing until the very thing enters my system. He said, thy words were fun, and I did eat them. And thy words became the joy and the rejoicing of my heart. Every findings you make set the pace for the happenings in your life. I knew we were going to have a great church. How? I made amazing findings from the writings of David Young Cho of South Korea made some deep findings from scriptures and came to a conclusion forget about the devil we're going to have it the way god said it now that god says it does not make you have it it is the findings you make that commits god to confirm everything god says to you is a responsibility placed in your hand if you make no findings, you go nowhere. This is very important. If my wife had waited for only the prayers who were praying for her, she would have died. She, she was stretching the things she had gathered over the years and stretching under those heavy attacks to make new findings and was stretching herself and 
you don't. don't. Somebody's punching you now, say, okay, I won't fight you. He will kill you. You have to wake up. I say, what do you mean? With your the yeah, that's what Don't you see wrestlers when they land them like this? They are not demons, they are human beings. First eight weeks. Now, this he is the when he stood up, but he said, no way, I can't die like this. I can't stay on this floor. No, we are the eruption. My wife is watching me. We've seen that. kind of lifting. So when they say the one, two, three, he said, no way. We have Ten, never had in the history By of this time he said nine, he lost him, stand you. up. As a wounded lion, he moves back. He doesn't want Nations to accept defeat. Nations knock at the door of many. Listen to me. All this slogan, I know God will do it. God will do it. You better don't kill yourself. You God has you done his part. Expected. You better wake up and do your part. Favor will locate this you is from very important. So connect with it. So operation. Change of story.